If you're planning on taking a trip to West Empton Mall's iconic amusement park anytime in the near future, well, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that Hasbro's transformation is making really great progress, with a whole host of rides undergoing their rebranding. The bad news is that the transformation is making really great progress, which means a whole host of rides are closed in order to undergo their rebranding. The Galaxy Line Express train station is completely blocked off, which means that riders now board the train at the crossing and only travel through the park from there, skipping the first short jaunt of the ride. And the removal of the faux rivets which used to decorate the facade in that area of the park also continues. The little nubs, which once emulated the rivets of the cartoony space plating, have been removed from all of the facing in that area. This project is certainly pending a repaint facelift, but for now, it comically looks like a face covered in acne cream. Update. I got my initial footage for this video several days ago, and recorded my script at that time as well. I realized I wanted a few more shots, and upon my return to Galaxyland mere days later, I found some interesting developments. The paint job, or at least the base of it, is done. The once colorful riveted siding has been painted with a rather slick silver color. This matches the snack building, the train tunnel entrances, and the train station itself. It'll be interesting to see what, if anything, comes after this paint job. At the time of this video, the renovations throughout the park are currently affecting the bumper cars, the solar spinner, the moto jump, ropes quest, though I suspect this one might have to do with the high touch nature of the attraction more so than the rebranding, but I don't know. Galaxy quest, the 35th aero squadron, the carousel, except that might actually be back in operation by the time you're watching this. And sadly, even the Mindbender is out of order for the time being. In addition to rebranding efforts within the park, maintenance issues during these times are also causing a lot of challenges. As many of us are aware, logistics and the global supply chain are currently in disarray, to say the least. We've seen the effects of this at another of West Hampton Mall's attractions, Virtual Land. The mall's newest attraction had its grand opening pushed back due to the delayed delivery of equipment, and they're still awaiting some hardware for a few of their attractions. I personally can't wait to try their VR racing simulator, once it finally arrives. But getting back to Galaxyland, said logistics are affecting the arrival of some vital parts and supplies, and it's caused some rides to be down for longer than anticipated, including the park's most iconic beast, the Mindbender. Still, it's not all frowny faces and tears. For one, everything that's been completed thus far looks really polished, and even if a specific brand doesn't resonate with you personally, you have to admit, the final product looks really nice. And seeing things get done, it honestly leaves no doubt in my mind that the park is going to look pretty slick as more and more attractions are unveiled. As a bonus, in an attempt to compensate for the current state of outages, Galaxyland is offering a discounted park pass. You'll get over $20 off your day passes, and you can still ride all you like on, among others, the Space Shot, Havoc, the Galaxy Orbiter, the Auto Sled, and Zero Gravity. So there's still tons of fun waiting for you. Oh, except that it's not called Zero Gravity anymore. While the recently rethemed Balloon Race and Cosmic Bounce have become My Little Pony themed, their names haven't changed. At least, not yet. But Zero Gravity and its transformation into the iconic pop board game has been officially renamed. It is now called the Trouble Twist. And directly across from the Trouble Twist, the bumper cars are being rethemed to another board game, or kids game, a fan favorite of all ages, Hungry Hungry Hippos. Based on the temporary facing set up in this area, it's clear that the bumper cars, formerly known as Cosmo Space Derby, and years before that as the misguided motor cars, will come out the other side of this rebranding as Hungry Hungry Hippos Feeding Frenzy. And peeking through the crack shows a small glimpse of what promises to be an impressive sized orange statue. But we'll need to wait before we can see this in all of its glory. Moving down that wall, towards the games, I think it's safe to say that the prediction I made way back in October of 2020 is correct. And if you look at the official Galaxy Land map, the one which now shows the newest arcade area in the park, well, 
it also shows the only bumper cars remaining in the park. And beside them, nothing but another very familiar looking platform. It looks the same as the bumper cars right beside it, only with no bumper cars. So is it possible that they merely swapped spots? I expect that after over three years since the removal of the space bump, we're finally going to see the return of the kitty bumper cars at Galaxyland. Of course, these will be themed with some Hasbro related brand. I have heard rumors of what it will be, but until it's official, I regret to inform you that I'm hesitant to say what it is. Yes, I know you're interested to hear it, but I just can't say. And for this, I apologize. Look, I've made mistakes in the past with my predictions, and upon discovering that I've made them, I'm always left with a feeling of remorse, and I just don't want to take that chance again. And if I've ever led you astray with any of the mistakes I've made in the past, I repent doing so. Please know that I'm compunctious, contrite, penitent, and rueful. Update. The facings of the Waldorf Solar Spinner and 35th Aero Squadron have now been updated with the decals of other Hasbro brands, and we can only assume that this means their secret is out. It looks like the Solar Spinner is going to be themed with every kid's favorite craft time toy, Play-Doh. Hi, Mom! The Play-Doh Boy! But you look different! <laughs> That's because I'm made out of new, brighter colored Play-Doh! Kids love to squish it and squash it and make all kinds of things! And the new, brighter colors make Play-Doh even more fun! You're fun, too! <laughs> Oh, a colorful little friend. <laughs> Play-Doh with new brighter colors. And as for the 35th Aero Squadron, we can breathe easy knowing that the planes appear to be here to stay. They'll be moving forward as micro machines. It's cool to see two toys, which I legitimately loved as a kid, being brought to Galaxyland at West Edmonton Mall. So that's about it. That's all I have to share from Galaxyland at the moment. Aside from the fact that walking around the park is currently a haunting experience. The Halloween decor has started to go up, and everywhere you look, whether it's here at Galaxyland, over at Professor Wem's, or even at the World Water Park, you'll be sure to find spooky figures, funny faces, and creepy crawlies. So the next time you're looking for a frightfully good time, why not pop into Galaxyland? Sure, there's a lot of work being done, but you'll also enjoy a bit of a discount. Hop on a terrifying drop ride, or a spinning roller coaster. Enjoy some mini donuts, or take a spin on the newly renamed Trouble Twist. Or just take a look around and imagine all that is yet to come, as the developments continue at West Edmonton Mall's iconic amusement park, Galaxyland, powered by Hasbro. There are plenty of rides still awaiting their retheme. What are you hoping to see? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please click that subscribe button and give it a like, and maybe even visit our Patreon page. And why not check out one of our other videos, all about the greatest indoor show on earth, West Edmonton Mall. Oh, and thanks for watching.